The game plan is simple. Make a game under an hour. Okay, let's get it. I cheated by making this bird sprite uh, a little early. He needs legs. See, I'm definitely gonna waste a ton of time making this stupid bird. Birds have legs, simple. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, color the bird. I don't have time for this. Also, his head looks completely messed up. This plagues every game developer spending way too much time on the, uh, the art. I don't know. Well, we need some animations, because I'm balling on a budget. I need a game with a simple mechanic to make, so I'm making a Jump King clone uh, about this little bird. So I need a jump, a fall, as well as tiles for a tile set. We want to make a 2D scene, you say, this is our scene. We need a new node, character body 2D. This is a bird. Open the bird, add the sprite. This is, this is a toxic. I just lost seven seconds. Not terrible. Okay, whatever. <laughs> what if I delete this room? If I delete this room, I kind of like that more. Okay, it's the first time I've run the game, and uh, we have a floating bird, and half an hour left. Oh, he, oh, he falls through the floor. I spent a while trying to get tile collisions to work. I found the button that lets you do it. And then also, I tried adjusting the screen so that I could make it full screen and it wouldn't distort it. After adjusting some values in the character body 2D template script, I have a pretty good base for my bird. Okay, now I need our main mechanic. I made it so that you could only turn when you're on the ground, and then when you jump, you get a fixed trajectory. Right now there's no player input for how far you want to jump, so that's the next thing I need to add. I spent nine minutes implementing the jumping system, so for however long you hold down the jump button, that's how far you'll go. It has a max cap as well, and I also added some platforms to see how well I could jump around. It kept getting capped, and I wasn't really sure why. I had a minute left. But with 10 seconds to spare, I figured out what it was. Oh. It is Jackson Press. I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, okay, that's it. When I'm reading the input, I use is input just pressed. That only triggers if last frame the input wasn't pressed, and now it is pressed. But I want it to determine if the input is pressed at all, and if it is, continue loading the jump. So I needed to change it to is input pressed. With my time running out, here was the finished game. Now this is a pretty good base for a project, but it's not really a completed game. There's no win state. Uh, the level design is extremely lacking, and at this point, I was thinking, well, I'll work on it for another hour, just to see where I can get. But I was pretty happy with what I was able to do within an hour. I started off this next hour with redoing a lot of the sprites, just making them a little bit better, slightly changing the tile map, and making a complete level. I also added states for when the bird is loading, so there's a different sprite for when you're sort of hunched over, and then another different sprite for when you fall a great distance, the bird lands on its head with its feet up. Hour number three was full of slight polishes, so there was a delay after you bonk your head. I used JSFXR to make some sound effects and added them in the game, along with some screen shake, and additionally, I started working on the new look for the whole level, starting with the tiles. The next hour or so was the background and overlay for the game, along with some improvements to the egg at the top. 
you win the game by reaching the egg, and there's a little surprise there. It was at this point when I realized that I can't make a rage platformer without the worst rage beat known to man, so I got to cooking up in the studio. Now that I had that out of the way, the game was pretty much finished. I ended up adding some particles and then also posting it to itch.io. You can play it there in the browser and a couple people in my discord gave me some great feedback. So I added another state for when the bird is at max jump as well as shortening the time you have to wait after you fall. I think it's a fun little game and I'm pretty happy with it. it took me about six to seven hours in total I would say the first hour was about the core mechanics. The second hour was about making it more readable what was going on. Hour three was mostly polishing the mechanics. Hour four and five were doing lots of art, uh, the background, things like that. And then hour six was the little song and learning how to build the game for web. As you can see, there's quite a bit that goes into making a complete game, but you can get a lot done relatively quickly. It'd be cool to expand this to more levels and things like that, but I might just put the project on GitHub. It'll be linked in the description if I do that, and you can check out my hacky code and maybe even make your own levels and things like that. I wanted to do this because my last video is about the importance of just jumping in there and making games and how fun it can be. I think it's important to put my money where my mouth is and actually show that you can make something that's pretty fun and simple, even if it's not a completely unique idea, and at least somebody will get some enjoyment out of it. Or, for a game like this, it might even make their life worse. Thanks for watching.